everybody, I'm Loki and we're back for more Terraria 1.2.1.2. When we last left off, we had been, uh, we had just discovered our meteorite and had started mining it out. Well, since then I have mined it out completely, and I have come up here to where the, uh, Skeletron is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some wood that I gathered, and we're gonna make us a little house here. Be a little bit bigger than most would make for this. For a couple of reasons. Oh, dang it, and I forgot a door. Well, that's fine. We can make a door right here. There we go. Now we gotta get this done quickly because the night is very quickly waning. Oh, Don't make me open the door and kill you, dude. Seriously. Oh, as you can see, you got that little green guy jumping around right there. Uh, I have no idea where I got that from, but that is a slime wand pet. Uh, he seems to love me more than Justin Bieber loves preteens because they're so impressionable. And he fights and will kill anything for me. And I do mean anything. So, yeah, we're going to see just how well that works. All right. Make stone wall here. But yeah, he uh, just pretty much kills anything and everything just really quickly. Um, come on, sit it down. There we go. Spawn point set. Kill these guys. I'm not going to use meteor. Well, we have some meteor shot, but it's not going to use it right away. So what we're going to do is we are going to activate Skeletron and see what our little slime guy proves up as well. We are using our... Using our... Shot. Let's tear him up. But yes, he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he seems to be invulnerable. So that's going to make him an incredible little ally as we move forward here. I've never seen that item before. I'm thinking it's just a completely random drop from mobs. Let's kill that map up there. Got him about you know, a little under half. Buffs. Just our mini shock. And he's about two thirds of the way dead. Let's see how quickly we can kill him the rest of the way. The night is just about over. We are out of our meteor shot. Let's see, it's not cutting through him anymore. thousand points of damage on us and he's dead. Yeah. We can now use our bullets on anything we want. Yeah, see our little slime guy there, he pretty much just There, I can even lock him outside. So I can just sit here, make myself a little two by two room and hide all night long and he'll kill everything for me. Now we need torches. We're going into the John through the dungeon. All right, now we want to see where did that chest? I could have swore I picked up a chest along the way. Does not look like I did. Yeah, see, look at that. He's just. Oh, hi! You want to get my friend? I'm gonna kill you! And he does actually have wings. He can catch up to you. So, like, if you're up here, way out of his way, and he's not chasing after. Yep, see those little wings? He's got wings he can fly to catch up to you. So he is actually really cool. I really like that. Alright, we're gonna head down into the dungeon. Ooh. There's a pet right there. Did not need to pick that up. Actually, we don't want to pick any of those decor up. We just want weapons and water candles right now. 
Water candles are kind of twofold. Oh, and we do want to pick up books because we want to try and get ourselves a water bolt. Alright. Alright. The water bolt is quite possibly one of the best pre-hard mode weapons or spells, whichever way you want to put it, uh, because it will ricochet and just goes through enemies like nothing else. Well, like everything else that goes through enemies, but yeah. It's a bit better than our wands, because our wands will only go through two or three enemies, and the water bolt will just keep going until it hits a wall, rebound, and go until it hits four walls, I believe, is its limit. The only way you can find it is by... breaking books in the dungeon. Ah, good. Good, excellent. A chest and a gold key. And we killed a rat there, I think. So once we actually find a water bowl, we can stop collecting books. Books are also cool because you can make bookcases with them and other things. Oh, come on, kill your kill your cousin there, baby slime. Ooh. We'll collect paintings, though. <laughs> Alright, now the reason why we're collecting the water bolts is because in hard mode afterwards there's a weapon that I want that only you can get only on uh, blood moons. Ooh, we got a Muramasa. Very good, very good. We can get rid of that. No, oh, we still can't collect it. Um, let's see, we can get rid of that. There's a very cool weapon called the Banana Rang, I believe. You can carry up to ten of them. They are incredibly fast, and they work just like a regular boomerang. They're only dropped by an enemy that appears on the Blood Mood during hard mode, so with your water candles you can exponentially increase your odds by having more enemies spawn. Book. Since this is the only place to get them, collect them when you can. Yeah, look at that. That, that little slime, he is awesome. Go down a little bit more here. Whoa. Die, dude, die. Get off my back. The clothier has arrived at the house. No, that's the guy that was Skeletron. <laughs> we are going to collect the heart containers. That can go in the trash. Books. No, no. We can make heart lamps, which aid in regeneration. Get off me, guys. Jeez. Okay, you know what? Let's go to our wand. Wow, this thing has no knockback. I forgot about Oh, and we want to get her. Yes. There we go. Apparently, when you're talking to the NPC, you not auto fire. We don't want you. We want this, though. Let's put up the. Oh, boy. I think we're not going to get a lot of in here. Kill it, kill it! Thank you! Let's put up the lenses. There we go. Wow, two treasure slimes right there. That is awesome. Not gonna have to worry about demons, I don't think. And we got our goblin tinkerer right here. That is awesome. We don't need him. 
Now they can just get killed, I don't care, because they're just gonna they'll show up back at the house when we have room for them, if we don't already have room for them. What do we have in here? Ooh, the Cobalt Shield, very epic. We want that. Up there, a little slimy guy can help us stay alive at the moment. Yeah, look at that, he is awesome. Okay, so I need to get rid of some things here. Let's see. Sit up here. Marching Bones Banner, I believe I already have one of them actually. I'm up here for a very specific reason. Aim properly. Look at that, he's just going to town on down. <laughs> that is crazy. God, I'm just trying to collect a book here, dude. Jeez, get off me. Get off me. Come on, just die already. Thank you, get off me. Alright. Gonna come up here, and he, of course, of course, he ends up here. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we want to lay down some chests. All right, there we go, and then put as much stuff away as we possibly can. Ooh, a legendary Muramasa. Let's see. Here we go. Master for slime staff. It's a weapon that you can actually swing. And wherever you click, it spawns him up. You see, he's got little slime wings that he flies over to you. But you also swing it to kill. So, now average speed, very weak knockback, summons a baby slime to fight for you. So, yeah. And he has no stats. He's a buff. <gasps> we got our water bolt. Powerful water bolt. Yes. We can stop collecting books now. Haha, uh -huh, that was quick. That was quick. Usually I don't get one that quickly. Didn't even realize I picked it up. I'm sure some of you are yelling, You got your water bolt already! Okay, drop that, drop that. We're going to probably collect more of those in there so we can keep him. Drop those, put that up, put that up. Keep the water candles because we're going to get more of those. Keep the bones because we're going to get more of those, except we just want one. Torches, there we go. Put that up. All right. Grenades. Ooh, very nice. Uh, meteorite. We can put that up because we don't need that. We're gonna keep an eye on our keys. Uh, we don't need two stacks of potions. We don't need our stars. We don't need the obsidian skull at the moment. Um, we don't need our hammer or axe at the moment either. So yes. Streamlight. <coughs> Excuse me, streamlining just to uh, get as much space as possible. All right, we can head back down. Love our diamond staff; it is epic. Drop some torches up here. There we go. Yes, I will kill you. I want your gel. I'll take that too. Music is changing. I always get dungeons like this, where it's back left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Not just a smooth tunnel coming down. Oh! I can just knock him down and he'll kill him. I should probably put that up here. Because I can just do that. Oh, that is cool. Oh, you lost him here. There, go kill him. There you go. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, another water bolt. Check that out. Yes, this guy will come in very handy in hard mode. Oh, come on. Just kill him. These water bolts is better. 19, 17, the deadly is much better. So 
Oh, there we go. Water bolting away. Very good knockback. Also a spell. Bounces around like crazy. Lights it up a little bit for you. Yes, very good weapon. I love the water bolt. My favorite pre hard mode weapon. got what we were actually looking for in here, which is the Muramasa. Uh, the, ideally, we could go straight to hell. But I'm going to keep looking for a bit. that. Select would be a bit quicker. Ouch. Huh, <laughs> see that? He oh, that's awesome. He even kills the, the freaking pots. That is awesome. Ugh! Cursed again. Come on. God, I hate those guys. I mean, they're easy to kill once you actually are able to hit them. Jeez. Come on. Oh, I wanted to kill those chests. Seen 
learned that one. Ragged Brotherhood song. Obsidian. Skeleton statue. Very cool. Ooh, almost got hurt there. Alright, we got a gravitation potion. Good. Another catacomb. Because of that skull. Ha <laughs> ha! Do that, they can get it. That's cool. Whoa! There's a lot of those spike ball traps. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen that many of those in a long time. Kill the trap. Spikes I can deal with. Ooh, another hard container. Very good. A couple more water candles. Now, if you're not completely aware, I haven't picked it up yet. Water candles increase mob spawns by quite a bit. I'm not sure the actual percentage, I just know that they do. And that is right about our 30 minute mark. I once again forgot to start my timer in time. Ooh, that was close. So I'm going to end here and then pick right back up here, folks. So don't forget to hit all those buttons at the bottom of the screen. Liking and subscribing and commenting and all that other good, fun, splendid stuff. So until next time, I'm Lockwood. Y'all have a good day.